Hey everybody, welcome back to Overtly Mocking Games. OMG, this <laughs> is Michael T. Bradley. And Jay Wilford Neville. And we are back to riff some more on Old Racist Casano. <laughs> Old Racist Casano, <laughs> fuck yeah! Gonna be playing some uh, Freebird tonight, I hear. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, they're my favorite Ted Nugent cover band. <laughs> <laughs> um... I had a I I grew up with a girl whose dad hunted with Ted Nugent. Did they hunt the most dangerous game? <laughs> Democrats. I don't know. I haven't heard from her in a while. <laughs> anyway, um, she's in Ted's freezer. I I think everybody has that story, right? Everybody's like, I knew somebody whose dad hunted with Ted Nugent. I just assume that that's like what he does now. It's like he goes to everybody who ever went to a single one of his concerts with a gun and is like, hey, you want to hunt? What do you think the Venn diagram of people who claim that one of their relatives hunted with Ted Nugent and white people who claim to be one-eighth Cherokee is? (laughs) (laughs) I'll bet there's a lot of overlap. You just think that... You think that latter Venn diagram just overlaps with any other Venn diagram that's, like, basically douchey behavior, right? Well, yeah, you know, it's white people, basically. (laughs) Douchey white people. (laughs) Oh, boy. All right, so speaking of douchey white people, I guess we should go ahead and jump back into... Uh, talking with the old uh, old racist guys now. Um, yeah, so we're we're on the second part of the long play now, which is very exciting. I'm assuming probably an hour and a half of this is going to be credits, so we're nearing the end. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Ready. Tell me more about voodoo in New Orleans. Yeah, super authentic Irish accent. <laughs> Tell me more about Do you precipitation know about human patient here in New Orleans. <laughs> My great grandmother could tell stories. Yeah, that's got to be I, difficult as acting direction, right? Like, pretend to be someone with a Cajun accent, pretending to be someone with an Irish accent. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know how to do that. Voodoo queen. You know, I love when my priest stops by and asks me about voodoo queens. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get a new church. That never happens with my priest. He always just comes by and asks me if this looks infected. <laughs> That's not a priest. How does she even know this much when she's like, oh, I'm a good Catholic woman, blah, blah, blah. She's got Where is her dog? Dark That's secrets. the real question here. Maybe she'll tell us nope. about the sins of her father. Stop turning me on here, old racist Casino. Voodoo home fool. Now say voodoo hon for as if you're a Cajun faking an Irish accent. <laughs> voodoo hon for. <laughs> I think somebody just hit pause on him. And he's one of those old tape decks that just slowly <laughs> comes right, down from right. speed. But we should talk about it. They hear us. It's the devil's one. I have them all in my closet. <laughs> Uh, usually it's my, my me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope the dog turns into a demon. It radiates something, all right. Did she just put the dog in that box on the table? <laughs> no, she still has the dog in her. Oh, maybe it, maybe she got something out of the box. Oh yeah, okay. I'm pretty proud of us. We made it almost all the way through that whole interview with him pretending to be a priest without a pedophilia joke. <laughs> oh, I can see how you would. Yes. Almost. Almost. <laughs> It's been in the family for generations. To be fair, so has he my joke yet. could have been uh, aimed towards someone over 18. <laughs> That's true. So just Less sexual abuse things. Ooh, a snake. Yeah. Even though its vibes aren't it's a bracelet great. of a snake. Let it do nobody its vibes are, aren't that great. <laughs> I don't know how, how does a away. snake even wear don't a bracelet. Come back they don't even have day. wrists. And now... Let us pray. It's more a necklace. 
Oh, okay. Or a collar. Or a belt. Yeah. Well, first it's a necklace, <laughs> then it's a collar, or toe ring. then it's a belt. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just on the ground. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna use the clay on it. To, yeah. Bless, oh bless this circlet of silver. Take silver. the curse, oh take it, Wilbur. A lovely blessing, Mopi. Yes, I think it made a lasting impression. Here you go. Is this? Is that a giant dildo in the foreground? I feel so much better. I'm pointing at my screen as though you can see me. <laughs> Well, no, yeah, as you I can see, the little thing on top of it shows that it's a candle. Oh. Each. <laughs> and and apparently it's a candle with uh, candies around it. I, I like the idea that it's a dildo with candies around it. Though. <laughs> you do you don't keep your dildos I'm in the candy not drawer? Because like <laughs> your grandma does. I... Heyo. <laughs> I went to a gay bar once that had mints in the bathroom, which I thought was a nice touch. <laughs> oh, Grandma again. Yes, gonna get some. Oh, good. It's More crazy old women. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> right? Why isn't this called <laughs> Interviews with it's Crazy Old Women? Nice. I buy that video right. game. <laughs> Interview with the Grandma, old. starring Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt. In wigs. You know, I think it would be kind of fun to like remake that movie exactly the same What's with the same right? actors now. I've been working on baby sweaters for the church bazaar. It would probably be exactly the same because like neither of them ages. I think they may actually be vampires. Can like Keanu Reeves. Yeah, exactly. That's that's of what I was thinking. Mother. Like How can I? It would pretty much look exactly the same because there's so much like um uh, Makeup and everything. You know anyone named Wolfgang Redder? As I said, your granddad's surname was originally Redder. Yeah, I thought we I we knew that already, and I, I didn't think this required but like asking her about saying, it. But okay. Uncle thought he had a brother back in Germany. Ooh, Uncle Wolfgang. Wolfgang Redder is related to your granddad or not? <laughs> Maybe it's going to turn into like Uncle Buck, Wolfgang except Redder. with Germans instead of John Candy. Tell you, dear. Ask her again, maybe she'll... <laughs> he just asked the exact same question twice. And now we're going to leave. Grandma's going to think this is a really going. bizarre visit. Oh, dear. <laughs> She's back to knitting baby sweaters for the church bazaar. Mm -mm, dildo cozies. Kind of creepy. All the, all the leftovers just go to the morgue. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't be the morgue, right? Wherever... Where you send a dead baby? Oh, we're just gonna go drink now. Uh, I just send my dead babies to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Very old, very classic neighborhood bars and restaurants. Gabriel is found here frequently. Remember that place we were at before where there was someone like masturbating in the back room? Yeah. There's another one here. What's up? Oh, yeah. Buddy, Maybe, oh. I bet he's not doing his dreads. I bet it's people out on the street playing like drums. Oh. I still think he's just masturbating. Oh, I, I actually, at some point in the past, and I only just now put this together, I read a like a cracked article or something that was about the the ten most ridiculously stupid solutions in these kinds of games I'm not too busy. yeah of ways that you could never possibly know what you were supposed Tell to do right and it, it mentions this one <laughs> is it is it a, uh, uh, one of the problems we've already met or um, yeah there's a piece of information that we need and we you know, gonna find it like here. Right <laughs> oh, here, the drummer right outside. See, oh, look at that. Drummer. He's a vampire. Sounds like my life. But he's a person of a different color, so uh, I can't <laughs> approach him. About voodoo? Voodoo. Yeah, if my shadow falls <laughs> across him, I'm gonna have to wash my hands. I invented a drink once called La Vos too. But it's not very popular. 
Some people it was mostly do just my own me. urine, I have to admit. Even some of our regulars here at Napoleon House. <laughs> Napoleon House. I don't think Napoleon actually lived there. What can you tell me about your regulars in here? This crowd? The ones you say are mostly regulars? That guy and girl in the corner come here a lot. When they're not fighting, they're all over each other. Whoop, I popped you know the a Woody. <laughs> they're in love. I say, I say, I say, they're all, they're all over. What oh. can you tell me about your regulars in here? See those old guys at the chess table? No. <laughs> all I see is your disembodied they torso. Yeah. I gotta years. say, though, his mustache Sam, is mesmerizing. The one with the purple jacket? It is impeccable. He's lost every one of those games. From it. It's not that he's a bad <laughs> player. I've seen him beat guys twice as good as Marcus. But Marcus has Sam so psyched out, he loses his nerve every time. I always kind of, like, way, people Sam talk about went. chess as if, you know, it's like this stuff. strategy He's that... Always talking it's always this metaphor for and life and stuff. blah, 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 really? blah. And Thanks. I just have no patience for it, and so I hate games Sam that involve strategy. Okay. And so, well, like, I'm like, is it really ago, possible Sam's to psych out a chess player? Like, that seems so impossible to me. He went to a um, and had her make him a love charm. I don't know. It, if it, the, if you believe there, they were better than you, board. then you might play <laughs> more defensively pouch. than you should. And the next day, he mm. went up and talked to the girl. And, sure enough, she didn't reject him. Now she's his wife. <laughs> Poor guy. Do 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 do. <laughs> Love is horrible, is what I'm saying. What's it's best to live alone like I do with your grandma. <laughs> All I know well, is with it's your grandma. Voodoo holiday. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, your grandma says hi. She you also says some other things, but I'm not going to share them <laughs> with you. Are you kidding? Around here? Hope they aren't serving drinks. Well, if they are. I don't think anyone in his right mind would want one. I'm like, are are we gonna pay, play Marcus again if we chess now? Do you know about animal masks? By the time we get to the end of this game, we're gonna have like 400 conversational options. Look how long that menu is. <laughs> Ask him about his snake. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black well, I know voodoo? the blacks do voodoo. I'm not think about but... that kind of stuff personally. Crime, perversion, weirdo. It's meant to be depressed. Blacks make me depressed. <laughs> yeah, there's the chess game. Oh. Nothing like a good game of chess, huh? Yeah, well, this isn't a good game. This is torture. Oh, Wait. well. Have fun. Black Jew, apparently. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was just noticing. <laughs> a young woman is enjoying drinks with her boyfriend. Didn't you listen to the oddly stilted conversation you had with the bartender? <laughs> oh, let's put the clay from Lake Pontchartrain on him. Me. I hate to interrupt your game, but could I ask you a few questions? A game is a game is a slaughter. Wait, who's speaking now? <laughs> you know, so let me I I you. guess the guy in the Liberace coat. <laughs> So they both think that they're being taken by the other. The small bottle is labeled Master Gambling Oil. Okay, so we drink the bottle, play chess, <laughs> beat the boat. Got a second, Sam? It's about your game. I don't have a game. That's my problem. I got no game. The ladies, they don't respond to my mojo. Bastard. <laughs> Die, it's my groove. I need to get it back, guy. <laughs> Let me see that. That's the gambling oil. What's it for? This is a powerful. The fact that he's wearing a purple suit makes some suggestions about his line of work. Really? Does it? Doesn't it? You thinking like uh, are you are are you thinking like lounge singer or or musician like something or a pimp? Like that's uh, not musician, magician. He may be a magician. <laughs> or uh, do they still have footman? Is that still a thing? Batman. Batman has a footman. Don't you ever? No. <laughs> Isn't a Batman a footman? Yeah, Batman is my footman. Na 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 na
Let me see that bottle. I make all of my servants wear oh, skin tight livery. Authentic. Oh, it is. If I, could really I was thinking maybe blackjack bastard. dealer. Stonewall, give me a pin. Oh, he is a pim. Come <laughs> up, Sam. How much you think I'd have put in here? Careful. You don't want to overdo it. Too much luck can be dangerous. That sentence doesn't make a lick of sense. <laughs> if he's ready to checkmate, this oil can't do anything here. Also, there are no pieces. Son of a bitch. I've been waiting to say that checkmate, checkmate, checkmate. It's strange that I never you thought of doing bigger, anything like this in 20 years. <laughs> well, we made this older black Jew's day, I guess. <laughs> Time and to go now. Credits. <laughs> <laughs> Also, did you know yeah, he's okay. the voodoo killer? Anyway. <laughs> Hell, I was brilliant. Of course, I gotta give some of the credit to that oil of yours. I've been losing to that guy for 20 years. If you ever need a favor, you come to Sandy here. Yeah. Will do. Is he gonna rig the Oscars for us, or...? <laughs> I'm thinking maybe Sam's a man of color. It's maybe we ask him to talk to the drum player. Mm. Yeah, they chose a really unfortunate time to anything with this? make one of the characters ethnic <laughs> based on the voice actor that they hired. <laughs> well, I am a jeweler, you know. Oh, yes, we know that. Of course you are. Would you like me to cast this for you? Okay, so purple suit, yeah. pimp, or magician, or uh, jeweler. Jeweler, yeah. I should have known that that bulge in his pocket was a loop. Yeah, okay, fair enough. There's, I, How in God's name would you intuit that? This, this game is like, click things on things until something happens. Yep. I mean, I know that in general, uh, that's what these games are, right? But it's like, it, uh, this seems pretty rough in that sense. Like, this seems pretty intensely, like, any scene you're in, just take every piece of your inventory, click it on every part of the screen, and if nothing happens, then you're done at that scene. Right. Uh-oh. Excuse me, I'm going inside. She's got a Oh, uh, excuse paper. me. I'm afraid St. George's is closed for the day. Yeah, that's in the morning. I'm not oh. a customer. I'm here to see the owner. Well, Why we're not taking you deliveries. Just leave your name and number with me, <laughs> and I'll tell him you stop by. Listen, if Gabriel is here, he'll want to see me. Is he here? Really couldn't say for certain, but in the morning. Gracie, say good night. That's the entire reason <sighs> they named her that. <laughs> you came. I didn't think you would. Most of my dates usually I don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could show you around a little. Yeah, it's not much, but... Please, Ooh, show her the German English dictionary. I couldn't focus on much of anything <laughs> right now. Yeah, Just ignore the stained pages. God, what is it about you? Just shut up and kiss me. I want to ignite a yeah. leopard burning fire in you. <laughs> the whole building rocks back and forth now. Twelve seconds later, <laughs> DOS 4. <laughs> I spoke to one who smelled of death, he gave me to his ears. And crosses that were marked were made into a veil of tears. Veil of tears. <laughs> okay. These quotes have all really played in heavily to the plot, so that's good. Have they? <laughs> oh my god, Gabriel, what did you do all over this counter? <laughs> is is there like a demon waiting outside dun, the front window? Dun, dun, dun. Maybe. Maybe it's a Schottenjaeger. 
It's that it's that drummer guy just standing there You're staring not at us. To me this you can talk to me. Don't be silly. I just have nothing to say. Did you find out anything about that pattern I gave you? Yeah, I did find something. It's not a slut like some of your friends. <laughs> I checked the microphone at the public library. I found an article about a murder in 1810. The newspaper published a fish. pattern found around the body. It looks damn close. You're incredible. All yeah. that work. Microfish is how you make microfish. Yeah, sure I... <laughs> so, now she's acting like jilted. Like, was right. were we ever to take it that there was sexual chemistry between them? These two are eight-year-old children, and so being mean it's to each other is flirting. I guess. The, uh, I, gu I guess. I guess. Okay. The newspaper clipping describes a ritualistic murder in Congo Square. Click it on it includes again. a rough sketch of a I pattern found narrator. around the body. <laughs> yeah, the life is, is pretty much dull and meaningless without her. I wish I had a Nana narrator. Veve. That would just follow me around. <laughs> Don't you worry, Veve. Ford puts more sugar than is advisable into his coffee, but nobody says anything. <laughs> we had to go into private to look at that? <laughs> is there like an empty him. condom wrapper in our David inventory June now? Like, oh yeah! 1993. Gabriel's eye is immediately drawn to an article. My guess is, is that no, there world. isn't, because this will end with some Standard sort of like her game. being pregnant in the next, this. like. Mm, uh, you know, it's the, the the curse is going to be passed on. Gabriel Knight Jr. Sins of our grandfathers. Yeah. That's not good. It's ridiculous. What about the killers? What about the killers? I know you were into it, Gabriel, but if it's over, that's hardly a negative. Anyway, if you're that upset, Why do they even bother typing, putting the caps lock on, Grace, if you're just well, not going to okay. do anything with it? Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't take direction school, very well. Despite his disgust. <laughs> Death walks close to you to Resist temptation. All Let's these people, the same sign as Gabriel, like, Jesus, pick a <laughs> you. What, what is with you? Have you noticed this guy outside? Okay, so it is a guy just yeah. staring in. It gives me the creeps. I'm glad somebody said something away. about it. <laughs> go Get away! The figure outside does not respond. It looks like he might be taped to the window, man. <laughs> I'm going out. Good luck! This game would probably actually be easier if we, we, the guy is out there. We can talk yeah, we to can't him. interact with him. That's strange. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna have to like show him something through the window. Damn, if this game had man. good graphics, it would probably be easier. Hey there, it's you. Yeah. Bracelet for you. Whoa! What the hell was it's that move? He flashed him. <laughs> It's like it's like he threw a batarang and caught it again just to take that. Well, it looks good to me. Thanks, Sam. No problem. By the way, I'm heading out of town tonight. Yeah, where to? Marcus used to tell me that if I ever beat him at chess, he'd take me around the world. Oh, they were secretly in love. That's sweet. Bastard has enough money stuffed in his mattress to cover the federal deficit, and he hates spending a penny of it. Enjoy Are we gonna go rob Marcus's house now? <laughs> Maybe. Good luck. And then we're gonna use that money to stuff a boa constrictor full so it doesn't eat us in some future scene. <laughs> Gabriel feeds the bills one by one to the menacing constrictor. <laughs> Oh, now we're at the White House? What? No. Oh, okay. that's Tinkerbell's castle, I think. Gabriel uh. is standing on the balcony of a building across the street from Jackson Square. 
Well, there was that echo again. I wish I was a mounted binocular. <laughs> the original church on this site was built in 1724 and was named for Louis IX of France. Oh, you read that so slowly, man and narrator. <laughs> I it's I really I can't blame non narrator because it's like why did they write that for her? Why Oh for God's sake. <laughs> Built in 1849 and 18 then we just leave. There's nothing we can do here. It's just learn about New Orleans history. Yep. The binoculars were made by this Pentax Optical <laughs> Corporation. <laughs> they have a patent number 11273849532226. And the logo is copyright 1991. This is what would drive you crazy if you had your own on a narrator. You would be like <laughs> terrified to look at anything, you know? Like like uh oh 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 we get that's weird. We're looking at the park. Oh we're Gabriel espies a drug what deal going down. Oh, this is definitely prostitution sting. Who is Crash? I don't remember who he's talking about. Crash is that guy who um, Mark Hamill was interrogating and did a terrible job of. Oh, I see. Well, let's go look through the other binoc... Oh, no. No. F that. <laughs> now we're going to go to the park. Or Crash's residence, because we know where that is. Oh, oh. we're going to return our... Oh, Crash's... Crash's... Of course. He looks seriously In a church. Ill. Yeah. Obviously. Duh. Couldn't you tell that by the fact that he talked to the drummer? The funny thing is that the fact that whoever it is playing this doing? game knows exactly what to do I'm means that he's done played this game several times before. Or he's reading an epic a walkthrough. Uh, no yeah, that didn't occur to me. I forgot that you can write things <laughs> down and pass information along to other human Come beings. On. I didn't realize that we had that technology. My life's gonna get yeah. a lot easier now. This is probably why you were looking for a non narrator in your life. I know more than you think I do. I'll believe you. Man is capitalized, so Crash thinks Gabriel is the man, in fact. Mm -hmm. Or he's like the embodiment of all humanity. We're gonna use some tweezers on him. How about how about if I do this? I'm not really touching you. Give him the snake skin. Well, oh no! Wait, that's course, the, I mean, that's the used condom in the middle, right? You recognize this? <laughs> Where'd you get that? Why? Do you know something about it? Know something about it? Well, why wouldn't it look just like the original? I mean, we use some lake clay to put around a fucking bracelet. Of course it's going to be spot on perfect. <laughs> Duh. The mark of the snake. Without it, they'll never let you get close. The sign of the snake. Right. Your tattoo, my bracelet. I think it would be great if somebody, like, made an actual, uh, movie out of a game like this, but they included all of the crazy puzzles, and so you, I mean, just imagine like, if it isn't, if you aren't seeing a player do this, just imagine watching a character do all this weird shit. <laughs> right, he's like at the lake at the scene of a murder, and he's like, well, I'll probably use some of this clay later. <laughs> Picks it up, puts it in his pocket. No explanation. Oh my god, Crash is a. Uh, uh, oh it. god, what was that movie with Lance Henriksen where they traveled around in the van? Fraggle Rock. <laughs> I think Night is in the title about the vampires. Uh, I don't know what they're talking about. Lost Boys? Tell me not, it's not Lost it Boys. I didn't want to go for the obvious Lost Boys reference. Oh. <laughs> he does look like something from Jim Henson. So. <laughs> I want to know about the voodoo murders. You're on the right track. Maybe Lance Henriksen isn't even in it. Maybe Lance Henriksen isn't even in it. 
Ask what him about the tell me about St. John's Wart. Nothing. Now tell me about snakes. Me alone. <laughs> Do you have any idea what Capri Saint Gaul means? I've never heard of that. His uh, pronunciation of that is getting more and more divergent. <laughs> Near dark. That's what it's called. Do you know anything about black voodoo? What is that? Voodoo, voodoo, man. Voodoo, voodoo, man. I should know I'm an expert on voodoo. Babies. I never heard of that. I saw you talking to that drummer. What did you tell him? Told him to stop playing the same damn thing over and over again. What are you supposed to see? Shit. Again. He blew I want to make some sort of dark crystal reference, but I never Look made it through the movie. Does. Uh, because he looks like one of the you have to tell me he, yeah because he does look like a Jim Henson creation and whenever he talks I think that accentuates it more <laughs> oh so this is trying to do like the the uh, the YouTube video with the horse heads it's trying to say like all these drummers you've been seeing around the place, uh, they really are, you know, they really mean something, and, like, that guy outside your window is obviously a rotted drummer. Um, and, but it's, like, the fact that they're animated so badly made it so that you couldn't really tell that they were all drummers. Uh, yeah, some of them just look like they're pulling one out. Tell me what you know about a secret you do harmful in New Orleans. All right. Is this... This is an underground cartel in well, well, Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm getting desynced here. Her <laughs> rear. I uh, Father, could you cut out the organ music for a moment? I'm talking about a home full of It's not... It's not quite any... Uh, germane to the scene, yeah. Oh my god, I just I just think of the poor people playing this game, like, going around to every goddamn location being like, where is Crash, for fuck's sake, why, I don't have any reason to know where he would be. Well, the church, duh. Because that's where junkies go. Church. I'm wondering, was there a line of dialogue earlier that, you know, when he was being interviewed anything Please. to tip off that he might be Catholic or I remember the eyes. Yeah, I don't know. The eyes. Were they I missed it. Snake eyes? The eyes. Yes, they were. The eyes of the snake. Yeah, that was a I great rat album that. anyway. <laughs> hey, are you all right? Someone, I need help. Yes, Somebody call a priest. <laughs> I need two oh, priests, one old and one young. <laughs> and like a gallon of lube and 200 square feet of plastic sheeting. Oh, God. So. So I know whenever I have a young man die on me in a church, you just kind of look both ways and then walk out whistling. Crash his shirt and screw. Oh, open it. Oh, open yeah. It. Take off his pants, Crash's too. body is slumped in the pew. What a place for a violent. Oh, not a narrator gave that a bit more solemnity than needed. Oh, good, we did hike up his shirt. I'm glad. Now put the clay and on that shirt, on that snake tattoo. Do 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 do. We're gonna s sketch it. I guess I better copy this tattoo. So we put a piece of paper on his chest and then <laughs> we rub scribble it with a, a pencil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's weird. My rubbing looks like nipples. It must be some kind of code. <laughs> I'll remember that the next time I come across a dead body. Immediately hike up the shirt. Yeah. It's getting late. We've done two things today. <laughs> <laughs> well, we sat there staring through those binoculars for a really long time. I guess we appreciated the Presbyter for like seven hours. <laughs>
Ooh, we're gonna call a phone sex line. Hello. It's me. I can't sleep. Tell me the story. Can I? Yes. Come. Oh, okay, good night. <laughs> Uh, that shouldn't be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very juvenile. Is that, okay, all right. So that's DOS we'll go ahead five. And, uh, end off there, and we'll start with DOS five next time when we come back. So uh, yeah, um, Gabriel Knight. Now he's getting lucky, and that's kind of weird, right? It, I mean, it is a little weird, especially since there was like no sexual tension between them, and suddenly she's just. But I, maybe she's in heat. She's a <laughs> leopard in heat. She's probably using her voodoo powers to turn him into a nude or something. <laughs> and you have to I do that. I you said penis. newt, like N E W T, <laughs> but I heard nude, N U D E, which very different. So, uh, Most new, anyway, until next time. <laughs> until next time, this is Michael T. Bradley. And Jay Wilford Neville. And we are.